you can't predict what it's going to be like in five years, let alone 20. It's because we, we live in a world of a, of a rapidly evolving threat environment. So over the past like 20 or 30 years where, you know, we've kind of been like reaping the peace dividend of, uh, you know, post-Cold War, mm. there hasn't really been, you know, uh, other great power competition going on. That's, that's now changed. Mm. Now, fast forward to where we stand today. Things are changing so rapidly. Like, mm. The pace at which the Chinese are developing new capabilities, uh, and certainly in hypersonics, mm -hmm. but but in other areas as well, the uh, the playing field that defines the problems that you know our military has to solve is changing so rapidly. You can't predict what it's going to be like in five years, let alone twenty. So if it takes you twenty years to develop something, what are you doing? You have you have no idea. So pace of development when you're when you can turn something around in one to two years, you know that you're going to get some feedback like from the market. Uh, and in this case, from your adversaries, as you feel these capabilities, they're going to react to them. And right. now not only are you getting a better feel for what you need to build and the problems you need to solve, mm -hmm. you're complicating things for them. It's, it's really, it really turns the deterrence problem completely on its head when you can really own the pace of asymmetric capability development.